Hello and welcome to 101 Ideas for Minecraft Learners. Uh, this episode is called The Reminiscence Project uh, and it's really about uh, giving you the opportunity to build um, somewhere that you would recognise, something that uh, is close to your personal life if you like. And what was close to my personal life is my my, the house that I grew up in, okay, and this is a representation of it uh, in Minecraft. Now, I made a video about this about two years ago, and it's kind of been on my mind ever since. So I'm going to just show you a little bit of the video that I created two years ago uh, to give you a little example, a little taste of where what I was starting with and where I was going, uh, and then we'll come back into this house and I'll talk to you a little bit about more about the project that I've got proposed. So this is what I'm doing at the moment, and let's just go down here. So this is uh, so it's just a brand new world I spawned, uh, leveled out this island here, and I started building. And I started building a house, and it's not just any house, it's the house I grew up in. Um, so it's my childhood house, if you like. Um, so there you go, uh, so we've got, oh, you know, and, and I might make the whole street eventually, but... Um, it took me a while, because I did it kind of freehand, I didn't do any planning. Let's go through the front door. This is our door, this is our where we made our porch. The post used to come through here, and we've got a couple of spider plants in there. Um, and then we go down to the, the kind of main hallway. Uh, and there used to be a big mirror here. This is a cloakroom. And it sort of looks like that. There were loads of sh piles and piles of shoes around this area, there was. So we just close that door. And this is the main living room, uh, the main hall. Uh, the stairs upstairs, and then uh, this is the main living room in here. And we've got a sofa. Um, there's, there's, there is a fireplace there. A couple more sofas here. The telly is is there. And I don't know what to do, how to put a telly in. This reminiscence project is really about giving you the opportunity to build something that's quite personal, quite um, uh, that represents a memory for you. Uh, now, my parents still live in this house actually, and we go and visit them, uh, but it's it's different now. Okay, my bedroom isn't the same. Uh, uh, things have changed a little bit, uh, and obviously, obviously older. Uh, but when I started to build this project in Minecraft, I started to kind of recollect. Uh, how it used to be and also who I was and who I am now so it's quite a powerful tool that I found uh, to to be able to kind of recall things and also while you're building things you have to kind of remember back and think about those things as well now this project uh, could even work uh, as an intergenerational project but anyway, let me just let me just show you through the house first, and uh, we'll start talking about it as well. And then this was the front room, and that was our sort of dining room, really. So um, there were always our artwork on the on the on the walls and stuff like that when we were kids, and there still is now. You know, we've all there. Were, I've got a brother and a sister, and I'm the eldest. And they um, they had created uh, we all we're all pretty arty, and uh, so there's all our pottery and all our paintings and stuff like that. There's a little kind of electric fire here, uh, and I'm. I remember uh, testing it out. I remember putting my, f you know, you turn the electric fire off. And it's one of these kind of bar ones, and I thought, I wonder how hot it is when you turn it off. Stuck my finger on and kind of created a lovely little scar there. Uh, but glasses and all sorts of stuff in here. And this is where we used to eat formally, if you like. Um, uh, stairs up, back room. This is the sort of the TV room. Um, down. As you can see, uh, Minecraft 1.7 gives us a lot of opportunities to be quite creative with uh, with the, the kind of um, domestic settings, domestic kind of things. And this is kind of how it is today. It's probably a little bit different from this, but there is basically, uh, I think there's a, there's a sofa there. I think the TV's over here, but this is how it was in, back in the day. And there's this obviously a kind of a, a coffee table there with magazines stuffed to the gunnels by the side. There are magazines down the side here as well. And there's our TV. Um, and we used to sort of either lie on the floor and watch the TV and stuff like that. We'll do the downstairs for phone book, telephone, that's where this has always been really. And then this is the kitchen area. Um, and I've kind of done it as it is now. So there's, a, you know, because I, and again, I can't quite remember how it was. Um, but there was a, there was basically a cupboard there. I couldn't put a wall in here, um, but there's a cupboard in here and that's where the pantry, if you like. So all the pantry food was in there. I can hear bats for some reason. Um, let's turn those bats off. 
Uh, and this is what another like about it. Friendly creatures, let's turn you off. Uh, so the fridge there, sink here, looking out to the garden, cooker, kind of chopping boards and stuff like that. And then we had a garage here. And when I was younger, uh, and again, this, got, this is part of an extension too, we used to have a boiler. And the garage was much smaller. Well, the garage was separate, but this used to be kind of the boiler room. There was a big oil tank in here, smelly and kind of just weird and mysterious. Um, anyway, so there's the um, there's the kitchen. Let's go upstairs. So we used to go upstairs. There's this little mini mini little landing up here, and then we got to the bedrooms. And this uh, this was my bedroom, the front bedroom, and I had it shared it with my brother. My brother slept over in that side, and I slept on this side, and then. We had like this is our wardrobe area over here, and then this is our desk area with our kind of books and sci fi stuff, and we had posters and stuff. And this is where I kind of did all my artwork and things and, and homework. I didn't really do homework to be honest. We just did uh, we just did drawings and we and we looked out, and that's kind of the view that we had. So there's the the front, the road, and we used to spy on people and stuff like that, and have kind of spy books down here, kind of take notes of different people who kind of walk past the, the house because um, back in the day there weren't that many there weren't you know there were, people didn't have two cars people only had one car per house um, and uh, yeah we could see our little car down there and see the garden and stuff and there were big trees that grew up and we used to there were telephone lines that went through the trees and we used to be able to climb up and actually put action men to hang on the telephone line to the house probably really dangerous but there you go um, so that's that was our bedroom. Then this is like a little mini bedroom, and it was like kind of the ironing room for a lot of a long time. But now it's a spare bedroom, and it's got a wardrobe there as well. So, um, you know, spare bedroom. Uh, Mum and Dad's room. So this is where they kind of slept their wardrobe and stuff. Um, and they changed that. They 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 think they had. No, that, this is the bathroom. This is the bathroom. Here's my bath. And it's, it's always got kind of shellfish and uh, uh, kind of other bits and pieces on the on the on the walls. Quite well decorated. Up there is the access to the loft. So that's how you get into the loft, um, which is always a, a great mysterious thing. Now this was this was part of another extension that we, that we got done. So we've got a, a spare bedroom, and this is where we stay nowadays. If we go and visit my mum and dad, we stay in this room, uh, and it's got access to a bathroom. It's also joined to another kind of spare bedroom at the back. Uh, and that's so they've got a kind of they both share an ensuite thing and it's got a shower here. And if the yeah the shower's dripping good. So um, so there you go. So that's a, just a really lightning quick tour of the house. But some of the ideas that I was thinking about having a reminiscence project for was you could you could build um, you could build a house um, or you could build a school or you could. You could talk to some uh, some of the older generation, maybe your grandparents and stuff, or build your grandparents' home, or talk to them about uh, what their home was like, and and take notes, and then build that in Minecraft, and then maybe get everybody together and talk about, um, you know, let's go let's go for a tour. You can actually take uh, other people around. A virtual house, uh, and that's where I think uh, Minecraft could be, get really exciting. You know, this kind of stuff could get really exciting because you can take people around. And if you've got uh, the facilities to be able to record that, either do an audio recording and stuff like that, that's quite a powerful little tool, and um, uh, and it might be very worthwhile because doing this kind of work is is really exciting and, and gives people the opportunity to talk about their lives and what. What, and the stories of our lives, you know, um, and uh, all, all these things can kind of feed into a kind of a, quite a rich resource, either for your own writing or for reflecting on your own kind of life and, and kind of things you get up, up to. It was also, you know, just on a purely kind of basic level, it's really good fun to recreate things that you kind of half recognise okay that are real for you and like, I you know I made this car which is quite that was excellent good fun I, and I did the garden and um, uh, and if we can fly up you can kind of see and I looked at Google Earth to try and get the the, the top of the house you can kind of see the original thing where the roof would have come down here so this part is is an extension and uh, the back part here that part is an extension too um, so yeah so all that kind of stuff was really good fun uh, so yeah that's about it really um, use 
using Minecraft to help facilitate uh, some reminiscence uh, either from your own point of view or with grandparents or people that you know within your own community. Uh, thanks very much for listening. Take care now. Goodbye. Mm-hmm.